Welcome to Getting to KOA, RV tips, tricks, and trade secrets for the RV traveler from Mark Polk with RV Education 101. When your RV is exposed to elements for extended periods of time, the exterior starts to show signs of wear. The sun takes its toll on RVs. The paint starts to fade and products made of rubber and vinyl dry out, crack, and start to deteriorate. If you neglect it for too long, it starts looking like our project trailer. When it reaches this point, it's too late to do preventive maintenance, so today we're going to replace some of the plastic components on the RV that are beyond saving. Let's get started. The roof and all of the roof vents on our project trailer were replaced two years ago, so that saves some time and money. I started inspecting all of the plastic components on the exterior of the RV. As you can see, the damage is pretty significant. Most of the damage was caused by the sun, and the lack of maintenance contributed to the current condition. Other damage was accidental, like this electric power cord hatch door that got crushed by the slide out more than once. After a thorough inspection, we purchased our replacement parts. It's going to take a while to replace all these parts, so we better get started. The first step is to remove the old damaged part and clean the surrounding area. I use tools like these plastic scrapers to remove old butyl and putty tape or foam gaskets. Clean the area using a cleaner compatible with the surface you are working on and as a final prep you can use denatured alcohol on a clean rag. The next step is to install the supplied gasket or use butyl tape on the back of the new component you are replacing. I prefer to use butyl tape. It doesn't dry out like putty tape does. Make sure the tape covers the holes and it might be necessary to use a double thickness of tape on uneven surfaces like this corrugated aluminum. If the old screws are rusty or have stripped heads, replace the screws with stainless steel screws. When you reinstall the component, tighten the screws until the butyl tape oozes out around the edges, but do not over tighten the screws. Now trim the butyl tape from around the edges. Around windows and other openings cut in the RV sidewall, it's a good idea to run a bead of caulk on top and slightly past the corners. This will allow water to run off, avoiding the chance of future leaks. Make sure the caulking is compatible with the surfaces you are sealing. Replacing old and damaged plastic components on the exterior of your RV is a pretty simple job. If you replace items like this city water connector or fresh water fill, check it for leaks prior to completing the installation. The last thing you want is a small water leak inside the RV's wall that you're not aware of. Add this job to your list of RV spring checks and the RV will be one step closer to another fun-filled camping season. Happy camping! <music>